everyone, welcome back to Aram Military Collectibles. So what are we looking at today? Well, I finally, finally, thanks to Gary Hall, managed to get this one, which is the last um, police constable's helmet in the RUC collection that I did not have. So I have all three of them. There were three different types, and I have all three. Um, so we're go they're actually set up according to the timeline. So this was the first one. As you can see, it's got the King's Crown on it here. Um, I'll just bring it up a bit closer to you for the camera so you can have a quick look at it. Um, so these um, constable's helmets, especially this one, this one is known as the bowler's type helmet. Um, you see, more of an American style. You see these being used by the you know, uh, New York Police Department as well at the time. Uh, around the 20s and 30s, early 20s and 30s. Um, you see the, these uh, Bobby style helmets being used um, obviously because of the King's Crown it was before uh, the late Queen Elizabeth um, was uh, um, uh, crowned um, back in I think it was 50s she was crowned um, so this would have been her father's or her grandfather's era of type helmet as I said in the 20s and early 30s then this one came in um which you can see actually has the queen's crown so this is the king's crown and then we have the queen's crown um we will see an awful lot of king's crown stuff now turning up again with uh, king charles after being crowned but so yeah so this one came in then as i said this one came in then in the middle 30s um all the way up until the uh, early 50s, 60s, and you do still see them in the 60s, the rare times you see them being worn in the 60s. Um, so if you notice on this one, there's no actual seam, whereas this one has a seam. So it's one, the felt is actually being molded completely onto the, the helmet. And this was an older and harder way of doing it than um, the next one. So the next one we have then here is this, which is the, the third and there's actually a seam that runs down the centre of it here um, I don't know if you can make it out I'll show you compared to the difference of the two one has a seam and the other one does not have the seam so the ones with the seam were um, cheaper to produce um, they're both made by the same company I don't know if you can make out the stamp there but there's actually a stamp here in it leather stamp and on this one it's actually in the same place but it's actually um, so they were made in England by Cartsons of London. Um, that's who made them. Uh, this is your standard pit cork type helmet. Whereas this one is actually, I, I'm not sure if it's like an early plastic or a fiberglass, but uh, it's a uh, slight damage on this one. But. So there you go. Yeah, so the, the, thanks to Gary for getting me this one, which was the last in my collection, as I said, the last, the missing link to all three of them. So I have all three of them now, which is fantastic. Um, somebody asked me on, on the chat forum where to get them. eBay, you see them pop up. You see them pop up at auctions as well. Um, they are getting harder to find. Um, thankfully, I have gotten all three of them now. Uh, so yeah, so you're just going to have to keep an eye out there, getting rarer and harder to get. You're just going to have to keep an eye out for them to, get to, for them to come along. So there you go, as I said, so that's the uh, Constable um, Bobby's Helmet, as you could actually call it. It's actually called Custodial Helmet, I think is the correct name for it. Um, so there you go. So I hope you like what we provide here at Aero Military Collectibles. Please like, please subscribe and please tune in for the next video. And always, if you want to get in contact with the channel, there is an email at the top of the video description. Thank you.